it's Jen here from Ain and Such and Such and Be Scented. I am back to make Aleppo soap. It's been a while and I have been out of it for a good while and um, I would need to get it made because it, I let it cure mine six months. Some people do a year. Um, I like six months. <coughs> All right, gloves are on. This is one of the easiest soaps you could make, um, but it's very luxurious. Ugh. All right, you guys see how dark it is down in there? I'm gonna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. This is my lye solution back here. Only thing in here is olive oil and laurel berry oil. On soap calc, it is listed as laurel fruit oil. It's very dark, but once the soap cures out, it's a very light, um, kind of caramely color when the soap is cured. So all the soap consists of is olive, laurel berry oil, water, and lye. That is it. If you make a true Aleppo soap. And that is what I make. Um, I make a very large batch of it because it takes so long to cure. And every time I've made it, it sells out within a couple of days. Um, so yeah. We'll bring this to Trace. I'm going to get it a little bit thicker. of them, yes. And also with these soaps, um, you stamp them. It's a, like a tradition when they do their soaps because where this soap comes from, um, that's how people, that's how they label their soap and people know where it comes from. So I will stamp this soap after I cut it tomorrow. This is my big 16 pound mold my husband made. Ah, quit. Trying to pour it to where it quit doesn't do the bubbles. Mommy. Hmm. 
Is this brown or red? What? Right here. So whatever you want it to be, it's a tree. No, is it brown or red? It I looks it's red. But it's, but it's not. Scrape, you scrape, you scrape. This is a more expensive bar of soap. Um, the laurel berry oil sells for about $25 a pound. And I have 54 ounces in this batch. So. Not cheap. It's got about um, three and a half pounds or so of larberry oil in here. Alright, I'm going to pause you guys, bang this out, and then we'll texture the top. Alright guys, so while I waited, for this to set up, I went ahead and I washed the dishes and prepped for the next batch. I'm just going to... I love the top of this soap textured. Show him what? I look this little guy. The cover. He's supposed to be draining. Um, other guy supposed to be with draining. Yeah, but I want him. This is what I got to do. I think it makes a nice um, texture. He just looks at me. That bond is right there. Give me the eraser. Okay. Give me the dark. Yeah. See? Yeah, let's not do that anymore. It'll be all yucky in the and I'll already will show away. I don't know what it is. I'll lose it for a eraser. I could sit and play with this like forever. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. All right, guys, I'll bring you back when I cut it. to cut the Aleppo soap. Um, hope that sun that may be too much. I'm doing it first because it has more work that needs to be done to it. I'm going to uh, cut them and then stamp them. So, and then these will be put on my curing rack for six months at least. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them off and then I'll I'll stamp them on camera. My uh, I find with my stamp it's best to stamp immediately. I can't stamp all of my bars because my normal recipe is too hard makes too hard of a bar of soap so 
um, even trying to stamp it immediately, it pulls uh, the soap off. What, where, where's that thing that you pull back? Where is it? What thing? The thing that you pull back. It's in my toy box. Oh, Kenoki? But yeah, I find that um, olive oil soaps, uh, high olive oil soaps, the Aleppo soap, um, are really the only ones that I can stamp. And it's traditional to stamp Aleppo soaps, so I do try to do that. Or I have so far, every time I've made it. It went through full gel last night. I went in and looked at it, and it was almost black. It was gelling. Such a pretty top. So I'm just going to cut the one on camera and then I'll pause and um, I'll bring you guys back when I start stamping. Alright guys, so I am back to start stamping. Let's see, you guys see that? Alright, so here's my stamp. I got it made from a company called Hers uh, Molds on Etsy. H-E-R-R-S. And I spritz it with rubbing alcohol. Stick it on there. Give a little wiggle. And that is my soap stamp. I generally can do one or two and then I like to spritz it again. I had this so, uh, stamp made, goodness, probably um, three years ago or so. When I first started, me and one of my girlfriends um, worked together and come up with my logo. I really like it. <clears throat> but stamping soaps, you need a soap um, that makes a softer bar of soap at first. And this does, so <clears throat> it's easy to stamp this soap. I've tried stamping my normal bars, you know, at immediately like this. I've tried stamping them uh, at just one day old, several hours old, uh, a week. It always pulls up the soap. So, I think you'll be all right. You draw it on me, see? Can I step it? No. Mommy's got it. Please? I could do it. I know you could, but Mommy's going to do it. Please. You never let me help us do anything. I don't. Can I? Say hi to everybody. Can I, Bobby? See, you never let me do anything. <laughs> you hate me. I 
hope you guys can see this. No. No. I don't care. It's kind of hard to do it on camera. I have made a stamping video before. Um, for anybody that wants to know. Maybe if my stamp wasn't so uh, fine lines, you know, it may stamp my normal cold press soaps better. And then after I get this done, I will bevel the edges and put this on my curing rack. Now I will try my next soap that I make to stamp um, and see. Because I have tweaked my recipe over the years. Um, it's not as hard as it used to be. And if I could stamp all my soaps, that would be awesome. Um, just because I love my stamp. <clears throat> yes, it takes time, obviously, you guys can see. But, it's a personal touch. And... It's my business. So, maybe since I've tweaked my recipe that it, it will let me stamp it. I've not tried it in probably over a year or more. Obviously this soap stamps beautifully. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.